Okay, make it local when you're starting your holiday shopping. Jingle all the way to some great finds at an upcoming vintage and artisan market. Believe it or not, this is just a preview. This <laughs> isn't the whole thing. We have two great artists with us, mother-daughter duo, Sonnet and Tina, representing their local businesses. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having Thanks us. For having us. Well, yeah. Yeah. Let's start with the first annual Jingle Market. What is it and why was it created? Well, Tanya from Simply Repurposed um, decided to create this awesome event um, at the new Expo Center in downtown Appleton. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to feature 25 hand-selected um, local artisans that um, have all real unique pieces. So anywhere from upcycled furniture, um, hand-sewn items, hand-crafted jewelry. So it's a wide variety. Yeah. Tina, let's talk about some of the things you've brought. Tell us the businesses that you're representing this morning, first of all. I'm Tina, and I have Tina Marie's Unique Boutique. Mm -hmm. And I will. I have um, hats that I do. I do the embroidered hats. I do pillows. I make my um, Tina Marie's um, boutique candles. Oh. They're all artisanal scents. Um, so that's mostly what I do. Plus a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> like we said, this is a yes. small sample. And Sonnet, you um, are really well known for your local decor. Yes, and so I, and I'm Sonnet with Sonnet's Garden Blooms, and then I do upcycled um, furniture, so I shabby chic it. I have my barn quilts. Um, I also do handcrafted um, soaps, and then at the um, jingle I will also have where you can come in to my booth and I will hand stamp any custom saying on one of the bracelets. And is that what we're seeing on the rolling pins it down is. here? A sampling yes. of what oh, that looks neat. like? I can kind of tip that up a little bit. We'll get it. They're beautiful. Yeah, thank you. So um, but there's like I said 25 other awesome vendors as well um, so come on down and check us all out and take a look at the new Expo Center. <laughs> That's another good point too. And it's yes. a two-day event. I saw that the one involves some sipping. Oh yes, shop and <laughs> sip on Friday evening. Okay. Um, and then really just focusing on shopping local and giving all the, these awesome artisans a chance to represent what they have without having a storefront. Oh yeah, well, and you guys used to have a storefront in Appleton, and I think people will be so happy to know that they can follow you and get your stuff at a number of places, right, right. Tina? Correct. Yes. Where can we find you now? We're at um, Antique Up in Kimberly. Ye Old Goat in Appleton, Amazing Grace in Appleton, oh, sure. and Nina Vintage. Okay. Nina. <laughs> so and it must be important to you guys then to be able to show your stuff and, and for people to still be able to, to shop local at an event like this, Sonnet. That's right. Uh, it's, it's awesome um, to be able to you know, have all of us be there and, mm -hmm. and represent. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned a number of pop-up markets are happening. Is the best way to keep track of those to just go and like all these individual vendors on Facebook so you can kind of track where they're going to be so you can meet up with them? Absolutely. And um, we will also actually, just to make a little pop-up, um, we're doing a pop-up on Small Business Saturday in our old venue at 206 East College Come Avenue. On. So for Small Business Saturday, um, shop Appleton first, and <laughs> um, we'll be down there. So if you like what you saw today, we'll have that down there available. We sure do. You can just take this right to my car. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> they needed several carts and several people to bring yeah. all this yeah. stuff in. Well, let's take a look at the details for Jingle, this first-time market bringing all of the best local artists into one one area on November 2nd and 3rd at the Fox Cities Exhibition Center. Admission is just $3 and you can shop around and find some really unique items for those people on your Christmas list. Thank you ladies. Thank you. Thanks for having us.